Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. As you can see, I'm not at my home in the Appalachian Mountains. This is a Nature at Your Door on the road episode. I'm here camping at Myrtle Beach State Park in my self-made, handmade, van build, van camping unit that I use to take Nature at Your Door on the road. I am in the maritime forest. I love this habitat. It is so fascinating. And here at Myrtle Beach State Park is one of the last remnants of natural native maritime forest. And you can see that behind me, there's all sorts of different plants. But today's episode is one of my favorite plants here. And it's called wax myrtle or bayberry or candle myrtle. Stay tuned to find out why it gets these names. It's the coolest plant there is. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Wax myrtle is a small shrub-like, often tree-like plant that grows native here in the maritime forest on the coast, preferring these acidic, sandy soils and are often found near where it's very wet or, or very boggy. Its leaves are lanceolate in shape. The older leaves are dark green. It's an evergreen. And the younger leaves are a lighter green. And on the older leaves, you may see these tiny, tiny, tiny little glands on the basis of the leaves. The leaves have a slight toothy edge at the very ends, but you wouldn't notice it unless you looked at it up close. This tree or shrub comes by many names and had many historical uses by both indigenous peoples as well as the settlers who learned a lot of things from the indigenous peoples here and a lot of these new plants and uses of the plants. These leaves can be made into a tea and it gets this name bayberry because it does have an aromatic bay-like scent and can be used in cooking as a replacement for bay leaves. You can also make a nice tea out of it. These shrubs or trees are dioecious. Dioecious means two houses. And what that means is that there are male plants and female plants. And in order to have berries, you have to go to a female plant. Or if you want berries in a planting in your yard, you also have to have a female and a male nearby to pollinate those flowers. It gets its name wax myrtle or candleberry because of the waxy berries that it produces, and it produces them in an abundance. These berries are super important for wildlife and particularly birds in the winter time because they're nutrient rich and have a high level of lipids or fats to help birds survive over the winter time. Super, super nutritious. One can also make candles from these berries. These berries are so waxy, they were used for candle making, soap making, as well as a wax finish for wood and furniture. The candles, of course, when burned, have a delightful aromatic odor that they release. To collect the wax from the berries and or to make candles, you would boil the berries in water and lipids always float to the top. You know the old adage, oil and water don't mix, oil will always move to the top. Those lipids or fats will settle to the top when mixed with water. So you'd boil these berries and skim the wax or fat off the top, cool it into your wax. Depending on the quality of the berry, it takes somewhere around 15 pounds of berries to make one pound of wax. Others tell me that this plant can be used as an excellent bug repellent. Take a handful of leaves, crush them up, and rub them on your skin, and they'll keep insects off you all day. Alternately, you can put a sprig or a branch with leaves on it behind your ear or in your pocket, and supposedly that will help keep the bugs off as well. I always want to advocate the use of native plants over non-natives and plantings around your house. These can make a great border, a great specimen shrub, great in mass plantings, or even making a fence row. So always look to use native plants whenever you can. And bayberry is a great one that you can include in your garden and has many links to native wildlife. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door on the Road here at the Maritime Forest at Myrtle Beach State Park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and be sure to go check out my playlists for topics that you're interested in. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, and turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.